In this class, we are going to look at how to calculate the GPA and the CGPA. When I talk about the GPA, I'm talking about the grade point average and the CGPA, the cumulative grade point average. This topic is essential to students in colleges and universities because it will help them to evaluate their performance in school. It will also help them to set a target for themselves. Why most students drop out of school is their lack of knowledge and understanding in calculating the CGPA. Let's look at some definition before we continue. The GPA simply means performance of a student in a semester, the performance of a student in a semester. And then the cumulative grade point average is the average of the weighted of the session completed by the student. So if a student who is a fresher is just admitted into the university, the student happens to to undergo studies and then write the first semester exam. That result, the first result that the student will get when added together gives the grade point average. And then at the end of the second semester, if you add the result of the first semester to that of the second semester, it gives you a cumulative grade point average for that level. And you do the same thing for year two, year three, until the day you graduate from the university. In this study, we are going to look at or we are going to assess two students, students A and student B. We are going to calculate their GPA and then their CGPA. And at the end of these lectures, I believe my students will really appreciate it. Let's move forward. So the first student, student A, these are the courses offered by the student in his or her first semester. Here we have Physics 141 as they could, Physics 181, Maths 111, and Biology 111. Here we have the column for the credit unit, then the grade and the grade points. When I talk about the credit units, they are courses that have that the, the lecturer will teach you just one hour in a week. Those ones have one credit unit. The, the course that the lecturer will take two hours in a week will have a unit of uh, two. And the course that will have three hours will have three units. So those ones are three unit courses. In this case, the student A here, Physics 141 is two credit units, one credit unit, Maths 111, two credit units, and Biology 111, two credit units. We put all together, two plus one, three plus two, five plus two, seven. So the total credit units here for student A is seven. After exams, the students now failed the first course, Physics 141 had a D in Physics 181, had a C in Maths 111, and then E in Biology 111. All these uh, grades have points. So F is 0, E is 1, D is 2, C is 3, B is 4, A is 5. I repeat, the grades have points. If a student scores F in a particular course, he doesn't have any points. So F is 0, E is 1, D is 2, C is 3, B is 4, and then A is 5. In this case, this student here has 0, 2, 3, and E is 1. So now, for us to get the grade point, we are going to multiply the credit unit by the grade here. So 2 times 0 here will give us 0. 1 times 2 here will give us 2. Let me continue. 2 times 0 for physics 141 gives us 0. Physics 181, 1 times 2, we get 2. 
physics 1, or sorry, maths 1, 1, 1, 2 times 3 is 6. Biology 1, 1, 1, 2 times 1 is 2. We are going to now total the grade points. 2 plus 6, that's 8 plus 2. We get 10. So the summation, total grade points here is 10. So for the first semester, we are going to calculate the GPA for student A. So we use the expression, or yes, the expression grade points all over credit unit. So this would be the grade point we have here, 10 all over the credit unit, which is 7. 10 over 7. And we get 1.42, which is very low. Which is very low for that first semester. Uh, let's look at the second semester. This gives us the GPA for the first semester. The second semester courses, we have chemistry 102, biology 112, GSS 102, GSS 122. And these are the credit units for those courses. Okay, putting them together, we have a total of 8 credit units. The student writes exam and scores D in Chemistry 102, scores D in Biology 112, scores E in GSS 102, scores E in GSS 122. E is 1 point, E is 1 point, D is 2 point, D is 2 point, here we have Two points here, three points, one and one. Okay, so for chemistry one zero two two times two will give us four. Biology one one two two times two will give us four. GSS one zero two two times one we get two. GSS one two 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 times one. Okay, so here we have 4 plus 4, this is 8 plus 2, 10 plus 2, 12, we have a total of 12. So in this case, for us to compute the CGPA, we use the expression grade points all over credit units. So we are going to put the grade points for the first semester plus the grade point for the second semester and divide by the the credit unit of the first semester and the credit unit of the second semester. So this will be 10 plus 12 all over 7 plus 8. Of course we have 22 over 15 which is 1.46. So these students did not actually do well. So the CGPA for Year 1 is 1.46. If we look at the classification of degree and CGPA, we see that that student falls below 1.49, which is a fail. And of course, this student might face probation or maybe ask to withdraw from the university or the college. So from 1.50 to 2.39 is taken as the class. 2.40 to 3.49 is second class lower. 3.50 to 4.49 is second class upper. Then 4.50 to 5.0 is taken as first class. Okay, so this first students did not do well and as such would be asked to withdraw from the university. Let's look at the performance of the second student. Student B takes the same course, Physics 141, Physics 181, Maths 111, Biology 111, gets credit units of 2 for Physics, 1 for Physics, 3 for Maths, 2 for Biology 111, putting this together, we have 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8. This one gets a credit unit of 8, writes the physics 141 and scores an A. 
physics 181b, physics 111a, physics or biology 111a. So here we have maths 111a, biology 111a. It's a good grade. Of course, A is 5 points, B is 4 points. So we have include 5, 4, 5, 5. Now, here we will multiply 2 times 5, here is 10. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 times 5 is 15. And 2 times 5 is 10. So for physics 1, 4, 1, we have 10. Physics 1, 8, 1, 4. Maths 11115, Biology 111 is 10. We add all together, we get 39 for the grade point. So, for that first semester, we are going to compute the C or GPA for the second students. We divide the grade point by the credit unit, we get 39 over 4. This gives us 4.5. 875. We can approximate the 7 to 8. We will get 4.88, which is a very nice result. If I come back here to look at where we have 4.88, you see that in the first semester, the students started very well, and you see the region here falls under the class of, of uh, first class degree. Okay, for the first second, uh, sorry, for the first semester. So let's look at the second semester. The second semester, these are the courses, chemistry 102, biology 112, GSS 102, GSS 122. The credit units are given, okay, put them together, we get 8, the grades, D, D, E, and E. So these students who started very well did not do well in the second semester and of course you uh, we don't know what could be the reason. Could be because the student has been taken away by some other things or is distracted. So let's look at the points. Here D here is two points, two points, one point and one point we are going to multiply two times two to get the grade point for chemistry one zero two two times two is four biology one one two this is four uh gss one zero two this is two gss one two two this is two putting all together four plus four is eight plus two ten plus two twelve okay so we get twelve now for us to get the CGPA, calculating the CGPA now, we use the expression grade point all over credit unit. We are going to put the grade point for the first semester and the second semester and divide by the credit unit of the first semester and the second semester. So we now have 39 plus 12 all over 8 plus 8. This gives us 51 over 16. And then the students drops from 4.88 to 3.18. Okay, so the student is now in the region of second class lower. This is how far we can go for today's class. I, I really appreciate your stay. And I believe because you have watched this, you will do well in your studies. I want you to do us a favor by clicking on the subscribe button and also click on the thumbs up. Share our video. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Bye.